Welcome back guys to the video. Before we get started, definitely check out some links in the description below. There's a Patreon, there's a Discord, and also Weeble sign up link below. Click on it, make a Weeble brokerage account, deposit $100 and get two free stocks. So let's talk about Workhorse because a lot of you guys are saying, hey, why did the Workhorse go up so much? So I did some digging around and I honestly cannot find any major news event for Workhorse except maybe a few things like Lordstown Motors and also there's just so much selling for Workhorse. I mean, this guy went from like $30 all down to $21. And now since it's such a low point and today in general, stocks actually went up. If you check out the futures right now, you would clearly see everything is doing really well. The VIX is kind of flat, which is a little bit worrisome, but overall you can see all the indexes are extremely green. And so far, if you look at Workhorse, it's doing the same thing as anyone else is doing. It's going to the moon and it has actually stabilized at around 10% today. So what is going on? Now, remember Diamond Peak Holdings, right? Diamond Peak Holdings also went up 11% exactly the same time when Workhorse went up. It was at 11 a.m. Same thing in Diamond Peak Holdings, it went up and they both are up about 10 to 11%. Remember, Workhorse owns about 10% of Diamond Peak Holdings, which is Lordstown Motors. If Lordstown Motors goes up, Workhorse goes up as well because they own 10% of the company. On top of that, the reason why Diamond Peak Holdings or Lordstown Motors went up today was because huge news about how they got 40,000 pre-orders for their brand new electric truck. And the thing is, this electric truck several weeks ago, they said they only had about 27,000 pre-orders, but apparently it's 40,000 pre-orders, even more than before. So $1.4 billion in potential revenue, now it's about $2 billion in potential revenue. It's pretty insane. On top of that, Lordstown Motors is very different from all the other EV startups out there. In comparison, when Nikola Motors launched the Badger for pre-order, it was about like 1,000 to 2,000 people that pre-ordered it. It was pretty bad. Not a lot of people like the Nikola Badger, but 40,000 pre-orders for the Lordstown Endurance, their first all-electric commercial pickup truck. It's pretty big, meaning a lot of consumers are showing major interest in the vehicle. And by the way, with every vehicle sold in the first 200,000 vehicles, Workhorse actually gets a small cut. So reporting such a large amount of pre-order volume means cha-ching, Workhorse gets a lot of the cut. Also, Lordstown Motors is very different. They actually have a factory. They also announced that they will start production late 2020 quarter four. First deliveries will be out the summer of 2021. So that's set in stone. You have Rivian, you have the Nikola Badger, no clue when the factory is going to be produced. No clue when the overall deliveries will begin. So those companies are kind of like no one really wants to touch it. But everyone likes Lordstown Motors because it's got a factory. And by the way, Workhorse also has a factory. Another thing is Workhorse makes these last mile logistics vehicles. These C-series vehicles, a C650 and a C1000. So remember how like a bunch of companies right now are making like electric trucks. You do have like Hylion, Nikola, and Tesla making these brand new renewable energy source trucks, right? These giant semi trucks, they're only part of a logistics service. They dock in these trucking facilities, packages get unloaded and uploaded into these bigger trucks like these vans, and these vans drive to your neighborhood and deliver the goods from the back. You're not gonna be seeing a giant Tesla semi truck delivering goods in your neighborhood. It's generally served by these smaller van vehicles that look like loaves of bread. And so far, Workhorse is the only company making these electric vans. Everyone seems to be going to the semi truck hype, but no one is really talking about the last mile logistics vehicles, which is just as important in the logistics system as the big trucks, the airplanes, and the cargo ships. And right now, remember how several weeks ago, we had Workhorse announcing a deal with Hitachi, a Japanese company? Now, the whole reason why Workhorse launched a deal with Hitachi was a growth plan. So Workhorse, since it is a pretty small company, they need a bigger company to help them scale up production and build a national dealership network. This is what Hitachi came in for. Everyone is expecting Workhorse to be receiving some sort of a big deal because currently no one is making electric last mile logistics vehicles, only Workhorse, literally. Sure, Rivian is making these trucks as well, but no clue on the factory, no clue on delivery. Workhorse 
also said that around quarter four of 2020, every single month, you should be able to crank out about 100 vehicles every single month, which is honestly pretty good. And they are announcing with the deal with Hitachi, they wanna start getting the parts up, the factory up, they wanna crank up production. And so far, they're trying to set themselves up to make themselves look really good for the $6 billion USPS contract, which will be sent out for someone late 2020. And this contract will be sent possibly to Workhorse at the end of the year. Currently, there's three companies chosen and Workhorse is one of them. Several weeks ago, it was five companies. Now it's trimmed down to three and Workhorse is still part of the USPS potential contract. And them hiring Hitachi seems like a no-brainer that they're expecting some sort of a major contract. This is why they partner with the Japanese company to scale up and they want to be prepared if they get a $6 billion USPS contract. The thing is, even if they don't, they're still in a phenomenal position because they're the only ones making these trucks. And also, there's also rumors about how they may only have a portion of a $6 billion USPS contract. But nevertheless, if they get any part of it, stock will go up. So Workhorse today, it's doing really well. It's still going up. It's up 11%. It's $27.74. And I feel like Lordstown Motors definitely had something to do about it because the pre-orders were extremely high. 40,000 pre-orders for this EV startup, which sent DPHC to the moon, which in terms also sent Workhorse to the moon. Now, if you check out my positions right now, I actually do own a lot of Workhorse. This is honestly one of my biggest positions. You'll clearly see I do have 200 shares of Workhorse. I'm also selling 11 Workhorse cash secure puts and also two cover calls for Workhorse for the $30 strike price. And so far, Workhorse is right in between these. The shares are making some pretty good money. Currently, my cover calls aren't really making that much money, but cover calls usually start showing their true gains around Friday afternoon. So there's a lot of waiting involved in these strategies. Also have a little bit of TNA, got some Diamond Peak Holdings right here and a share of Apple because I did buy Apple with some of my premium money. But of course, today's a pretty decent day for me. Honestly though, I'm so sick and tired of like the losses. Today's a really green day. I'm extremely happy. Workhorse is going up. DPHC is going up. A lot of you guys do have workhorse positions and today you are well rewarded for patience. And just in general, I feel like just the market's dropping way too much. I mean, workhorse did go from like $30 all the way down to like 20 to $21. So like a really insane rebound is needed. This is still an extremely small company. Like this is only $2.7 billion. This is no big company. If they get a $1 billion contract, well, the stock is going to be insane. I mean, this is a $6 billion USPS contract we're talking about. This is like more than twice the size of the whole entire company itself. So they will be producing stuff. Think about Workhorse is they have a factory. If you check on Twitter and just type in Workhorse factory, they will show you their factory cranking out vehicles in a van driving out of the production facility. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, comment below. This is honestly my reason for the mooning. There really isn't much news about it. I feel like there's just a lot of fear missing out. I saw the volume for the amount of trades for Workhorse. There was a lot of buy orders for the overall company and more people are still buying in. That's about it. Thanks for watching.